What's up guys, Dan here. Thanks so much for joining in for another video. So today I'm gonna to give you a quick little tutorial on how to get your Fnatic CSL DD wheelbase to work with Forza Horizon 5. I didn't realize this, but apparently there are people who are still struggling to get this wheelbase to work on that game. And that is a shame because it is a ton of fun. So I don't think I'm doing anything crazy here. I'm just going through the regular uh, way of getting this wheelbase to work. Um, but since people seem to be struggling, I wanted to put together a video and show you what I'm doing, give you some tips and tricks, to see if we can get it working for you guys too, so you can enjoy the game with this wheelbase. So first thing I want to say is no matter what you're playing on, whether you're playing on an Xbox Series X, Series S, or PC, the first thing you need to do is you need to hook your wheelbase back up to a computer and you need to make sure that you have the most current firmware, okay? And I just upgraded my firmware maybe last week or the week before, so you need to make sure you have this firmware right here for your base, the motor, and your quick release. And also, depending on what steering wheel you have, there may be some firmware to update for your steering wheel as well. But this is by far the first thing you need to do. This may be what is causing most people issues. If you're using an older firmware, I am aware that it used to not work in this game and people were having to use um, different workarounds to get the wheelbase to work, but you do not have to anymore with the latest firmware. So the very first thing you wanna do is make sure your firmware is up to date. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do since we're in Fnatic um, control panel real quick is I'm gonna go to my settings. Now, I didn't come up with these. These are settings I found off the internet, but they do seem to work pretty well. So if you wanna take a snapshot of this, this is my control panel settings uh, that I am using for Forza Horizon 5 and they seem to work pretty good. I've just saved them to uh, setup number five. While we're on that subject, there is no, um, let's see here, uh, Fanalab. There is no profile for Forza Horizon 5 in Fanalab, as far as I am aware. So I know a lot of people have Fanalab start up on boot up of their computer. And so it maybe it's down here in the tray or whatever, but it's running behind the scenes. Just to make sure you don't have any issues, if you're gonna play Forza Horizon 5, just go ahead and turn off Fanalab completely. You're only gonna wanna use the OG original control panel here for Fnatic if you're gonna play this game. So just make sure you don't have any conflicts of other profiles from Fanalab, just shut that down completely. All right, once you've gotten to here, there are three major things that you need to do before you boot up Horizon 5. If you don't do these three things, it will not work in game. This also may be why some people are having some issues. The first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that your wheelbase is turned on and that it is in compatibility mode. Compatibility mode means the light will be orange. So it has to be turned on and it has to be in compatibility mode. These are things you must do before you boot up the game. I can't emphasize that enough. You can't do this once you're already in the game. It will not work. Second thing that you have to do is you have to have the steering wheel you're going to be using connected to the wheelbase so that the game can recognize those buttons. If you launch into the game without the steering wheel connected to the wheelbase, it's not going to work. So that's the second thing you need to make sure. Make sure your steering wheel is connected to the wheelbase. And the third thing, and this should be self-explanatory, but you need to make sure you have the wheelbase connected to a USB hub or a USB plug in your computer. You have to do these three things before you start the game or none of this will work. So just make sure you do that. All right, guys, so we're loaded up in game. And what you're gonna wanna do is head over here to settings. You're gonna wanna go to controls, not advanced controls, just controls. And you're gonna wanna change input mapping. Now, I think this may be something that people are having some issues with. If you have a Fnatic wheelbase, it will recognize something, but it's not gonna work perfectly. So what you wanna do is you wanna go over here and go to wheel, and then you want to if you look, there's all these things that it will default automatically. Uh, CSW 2.5 McLaren, this Porsche wheel, all this other stuff. You're not gonna be able to bind any controls in these default profiles. So what you need to do, and this is the first time you're gonna boot into the game, you need to go over to any one of these 
custom wheel profiles. For example, I'm using number five, but you can use any one of them, right? When you go into these custom wheel profiles, you can actually click on these and you can bind some kind of button, right? I didn't bind anything there because I'm not driving a convertible. But in these other non or in, in these other default profiles, you're not able to change these things. So you need to make sure you tab over here to one of these custom wheel profiles. If you've got your wheelbase turned on, if it was turned on, you've got it in compatibility mode, the steering wheel was on and it was plugged into a USB hub, you will be able to tab over to one of these custom wheel profiles and then you can map everything like you would in any other game. And for example, I'm currently using three different items. I'm using three different inputs and I'm having no issues with it. I'm using the Fnatic CSL DD wheelbase. I'm using a set of VNM pedals, which are a pretty high end set of pedals. And I'm using a cheapo Thrustmaster uh, shifter. And they are working fine with these custom wheel profiles. Now, once you do this and set it, it should remember it. But what will happen again is if you get out of the game and you boot back into this game without one of those three crucial things in place, it's going to default you back to some other layout and your steering wheel, your wheelbase is not going to work. And you can't turn it on while you're in game. It will never recognize it. These things have to happen before you boot into the game. So yeah, I don't think this is anything crazy. I know people used to have to use like emulators and stuff like that to get these wheelbases to work. You don't have to do that anymore. Just make sure you have the most current firmware. Make sure you've got all the stuff turned on and plugged in before you boot up to the game. And then go to your controller settings and use a custom wheel profile. All right, and while we're in these settings, I'm gonna go ahead and hop over to the advanced controls tab and show you what I've got for my force feedback. Now, again, just like in the control panel, I didn't come up with this stuff. I got it off the internet and it seems to work well, so I haven't changed anything, but if you wanna see what I've got, this is it. So I've got vibration scale at a 0 0.4, force feedback scale 0 0.8. Um, I'm assuming that's because it will clip if you go higher than that. Uh, center spring scale 0 0.1, 0 0.1 for wheel damper scale. You could probably go zero with those, typically I do. Mechanical trail scale is one, force feedback minimum force is one, force feedback load sensitivity one, and road feel scale one, off-road scale 0 0.6, steering sensitivity 0 0.5. You can read this stuff. So screen cap it if you want to see it, if you want to copy these settings. Again, I got these off of the internet. These were recommended settings from someone else, but they seem to be pretty good. But hopefully this will help you guys uh, get your wheel working, your CSL DD working in this game if you haven't, because it's really fun to toss cars around. It's not the most realistic, doesn't have the best force feedback, but it feels good enough to go have some fun and go blast through some fields and all that stuff. So hopefully this was helpful, guys. If it was, please click the like button and remember to subscribe if you're not. And as always, guys, we'll talk to you in the next video. We'll see you later.